Hi, this is Jimmy McTiernan from The Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to be covering how to create Kanban boards inside of Notion. The Kanban boards are really a great tool for managing multiple projects through a project lifecycle, and Notion is a great tool for managing all your productivity um, needs. And one of those needs can be uh, the ability to track projects, and fortunately, Notion is very good at this. So uh, stay tuned. And we're back. Kanban boards are really great for tracking multiple projects at the same time through various gates of your project. Notion allows you really to do this pretty easily inside Notion due primarily to the flexibility of Notion. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that if you like this video, please click that like button. It really helps the channel out. If you want to be notified of the videos as we release them automatically, please hit that subscribe button. And most importantly, if you have any comments, any questions, anything you'd like to see me cover in a future video, or just any suggestions or feedback you'd like to give me, please leave a comment below. I do read my comments, so um, and if you have a question, I will answer it. Thanks. Okay, let's get started. So here I'm in my personal projects uh, page. I want to add a separate page, sub page that's got my Kanban board on it. So what I'm going to do is click underneath here under my other pages to click into the body, and then much like as I add any other block I normally would in Notion, I click the slash key, which brings up the block sub menu, and then hit type in board, and that will bring up the two board options I have. One is inline, which would actually place it inside an existing page. So let's say you had a project page with a bunch of different elements in it, and you wanted the Kanban board to just be one of the elements in an existing page along with other things, you would use the inline option. I'm actually going to use the full page option, which is actually going to create a sub page um, of the current page I'm on. So I'll actually, this when I click it, as you can see, I now have an additional, and I come back out to personal projects, I now have an additional entry here, untitled, which is the default name it gives a page in Notion, that when I click it, will bring me into this Kanban board. So once I'm in the board, I can do all the things I normally can do in Notion. So I can obviously give the page a title, which I'll call Kanban board, because I am so creative. I can add an icon drum, which is great because my daughter's a drummer. And I can click a description. This is a Kanban board. I'm really killing it today. Exclamation point. Because why not? Okay. Now, let's look at our Kanban board. So a Kanban board, when you create one in Notion, has four default columns or what are called groups in Notion. You have the no status, which means the card has no status. And then these three basic ones, not started, in progress, and completed. Now, you shouldn't feel confined with these categories. You feel like you have to use these categories. You can eliminate them. You can add your own uh, categories. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So one of the things I can do is change this not started one to something else. Like I can make it like requirements received. Hit enter. And now that's requirements received. I also might want to track did we receive a contract? So I come over here to add a group, click that, and then that becomes a text box, which I can now type in contract signed as an example. Hit enter, and now I have it, but obviously I would get my contract signed before completing the project. So I can actually click and hold and then drag that column or group to where I want it. So I can put it all the way to the beginning, but I'm gonna put it at the requirements received. I let go of the mouse button, and now it's in its proper place. In addition, I can actually add cards, create new cards directly in the category I want to do it. Now, uh, I typically would start in the no status and just move them over. You know, I kind of use this as like my launching pad. And then as a project moves through those cycles, I slide the card by grabbing it, by clicking and holding, and then just dragging it to the next category. And then as they move, you can sort of see, you know, how they kind of move around through this project cycle. 
Um, so I'm going to move them all back just to keep it simple. And now I'm going to show you what a card looks like by default. So you click on the card. It brings it up as a page um, in Notion because everything in, in uh, Notion is a page because it's essentially a wiki. I'm going to delete this out and I'm going to say World Peace Project. I have no idea why I said that, but okay. And you're given, much like any other page, you can add an icon. Oh, it's a book. And um, I can give it a cover. Nice fountain. Very zen. And come down here. I can give it a description as well if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Come down here, and I, it gives you a couple of defaults. One is status, and basically you can manually assign one of your statuses or phases here. You can also assign it to a person if you have people on your team. I don't have, I'm a one person team, so I can assign it to myself. There we go, as an example. Um, I can add comments, so I can sit there and go, this project is awesome. Or whatever comment you wanna make. Hit enter, and there it is. So if you're working with a team, this becomes handy, obviously, because you basically have a log of everything you're doing. But again, much like the the groups inside of a Kanban board. Don't feel constrained by the, 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 the properties that are inside your card. You can actually really customize your card and that's what we're gonna focus on. So you can add a property and then hover over property type. And then you have your, any, um, basically any property that's available in Notion is available in here. So you can create a number, you can have a multi, you can have a selection option, multi-select, you can add dates, people, files and media so you might want to have that a checkbox so you can have like a, um, a little to-do list if you wanted that in there you can add a link so i can put in a url here of course it'd probably help if i called it um link and then here i can enter https colon slash productive engineer dot net that is my website so um where I write my articles, so feel free to visit it, um, etc. And then the other thing you can do is you can come down here to the, the bottom, um, the body, and you can actually type slash, and then just like any other page, you can add in all the things that are in there. So you might want to add in a table, right? So what you might want to type in here, slash table, and then you have your all your table options. So I might want to have an inline table sample table as an example and give it a name give this thing a name um default name because i'm really blanking out today i can give it a tag name and i can attach a file as well right upload a file or a better link or i can just change this to be whatever i want it to be so i could come up here and say you know what i want this to be a number and change it to, if I can learn how to do this here, number, and type in a number, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever you want to do, you can attach files, etc. And I can have that in my table. Now, once I, I can also come down here, and let's say I wanted to have a calendar in my for my project, I can do an inline calendar, let's say, world peace, project calendar and then come down in here and say you will notice this is in the past uh, uh, start project project Ta -da. <laughs> you get the idea so basically you could basically do all this and then now in that when I open that card I have an item and I can drag that item wherever I want it in my calendar. I have my table and I can put whatever I want in my table and you can just keep going. Um, you might even have a Kanban, um, another Kanban table inside here. This one will be inline and as you can see, and you might have this for tasks. Um, so you might, these cards might represent tasks that you're doing for that project in order to get it to move into the larger phases. So you might just say, this is the world peace task status and just create 
then edit these cards to be like uh, define requirements. And then, you know, and then you might say that's, you know, in progress. And you can assign that to me because I'm the only person on the team. And there you go. So now my project has its own board that has its own status. And you can see it kind of is pretty cool. Um, so the only thing I would say is that you really want to be um, have an idea of what you want it to look like. But I really find it to be helpful um, in terms of how I define my projects and how I manage things because, you know, we all have a million different things running around. We have our personal life. We have our jobs, you know, careers, and sometimes we have side hustles um, and activities that we want to track. And the ability to be able to manage all of those, um, not only at a global level like at this view, but also at a more micro level within a project is pretty powerful once you start to mess around with it. So I hope this video was uh, helpful. Uh, and teaching you how to use Kanban boards inside of Notion. It's pretty simple to get started once you know the basic mechanics, as we kind of showed here. Again, you can sort of move your um, your cards around. It, think of it as like a gigantic pin board. It's probably the best way to think of a Kanban board, where you have your columns represent the par parts of the uh, process that you want to get from start to end, and then the cards represent individual items or projects that you want to move through that, that cycle. Thanks again for tuning in. Again, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It really will help me. Uh, also, uh, if, if you want to see more videos, please hit subscribe. And if you have any feedback, please leave some comments. Thanks. Have a great day.